Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Alima Leigh McFarlane versus Bruna Ellen. And how I see this one right here is I'm um, going, should be high, but I'm going to go average confidence Alima Leigh McFarlane. She's coming off a win to, what's her name? I mean, not a win, she's coming off a loss to um, Justine Keach, which is a very questionable loss. Not as far as like, not as far as how she lost, but as far as she should not been the talent or projected talent she is. And she, like, it's not even projected. She was this talent. She still is this talent. But to lose to Justin Keish, I know Justin Keish is a fighter that's, you know, not really an easy person to fight. I don't think anyone has necessarily had an easy fight where her last loss was relatively easy. You know, it's, it's, sometimes Matt, MMA just be odd. Like, some things just don't make sense, then they just happen. But Justin Keish has been a pretty much tough out for her. She even gave him, um, what's her name, Tracy Cortez a pretty hard fight, to be honest. She had a rock at one point. So she does give people some people hard fights, but then again, she lost an easy fight to this old geezer who like 40 years old, 43 years old. So like, like I said, sometimes like MMA don't make sense sometimes. But she was able to come over here and he got a win over Lima Lady McFarland. I know Just Keach is not the easiest fighter. She'd be um, camping leg kicks and stuff. Like she tough everywhere, be pooping on herself. Like she'll give her, literally give her gut to get a victory. Like so that woman, give her give a bowel movement to get that victory. But lost that fight though. But anywho. Yeah, it don't make sense, but Bruno Allen on the side, I see her as a pretty exciting talent. But the, my issue with Bruno Allen, like, it's not like she got such snap and power in her punches and her kicks, but all the fights seemingly go to decision. So, like, it isn't like she fights necessarily high fight IQ to win decisions. But yeah, it's like, not like she fights the smartest. She only has the same level of experience. But like I said, she got some good snaps on her punches, good snaps on her kicks. I feel like she's the better striker. But I feel like Alima Lady McFarlane, is the better fighter, definitely the better grappler here. And um yeah, I feel like she can take advantage of that. Like like you know, look take advantage of something like the commit over committing to kicks or you know the load up or the snap or the aggression and be able to drag her to the mat and look to work for submissions and work for control. I feel like it's probably gonna be it's probably not gonna be the most phenomenal return to victory for the former champion Alima Lay McFarlane. But it's probably gonna be a smart fort fight where she's gonna be able to just use her four way around the skills and take advantage of a fighter that has, you know, openness in their skill sets. Like I said, Alima Lay McFarlane might, why say her name like that? Alima Lay McFarlane might not be like this super phenomenal necessarily everywhere, but she's a world rounded champion or a former champion, and she could take advantage of a fighter who has holes in the game. And I feel like there's definitely holes in, in Brunel Ellen's grappling, wrestling, and McFarlane will look to take advantage of those, fight a smart fourth fight. Controller beat her to a decision. So in this fight, I have a Lima Lay McFarland via decision.